If you're a Phoenix comedian uh, over the past five years or so, you might have met him, but he was a truly amazing guy. Unfortunately, we lost him. Um, Daniel Bright was and forever will be a very good friend of at least I know all of us and the podcast in Phoenix in general. He's going to be dearly missed. Uh, it is truly unfortunate that his candle got snuffed out when it did. I mean, for like, if you knew him, I bet you could, like us, thought he was, you know, fucking invincible. Like, the guy was reckless. He would buy Walmart shotguns, bring them to open mics, and I'd put them to David Kay's head. I have that photo. <laughs> but it just, it's a fucking shame. And uh, we love you, buddy. Rest in peace. <laughs> hey, welcome back to another episode of The Final Stop. I'm your host, Daniel Bridgegad, live from the ever-glorious Mezcal bedroom. Uh, sitting next to me. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, it's the Mezcal bedroom. Have you been following this? It's a real bell curve of uh, the studio arc. It's my shitty apartment. The nicer one, the bigger, nicer one. Somehow right now we're on the inside of the bell inversing. <laughs> yeah, it's dude, like I'm we're going so bad it's on a new dimension. <laughs> yeah. we're, so, like, we're in the upside down. That voice you hear, uh, if you're just listening on the audio on the RSS, it's the Vampire King, King Possum, Lord Meerkat. It's Tristan Bowling. Hi. Yeah, I, and, and we're here, dude. We're in person. I like this. I know. Don't touch my fucking thigh again. I, I almost was, did. I you almost you, touched my hand. I was going to. but Trying to give me a haircut. Don't fucking lean across the table. <laughs> Wow, that would not have been that was not in my bingo card. You would have come across the table first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> over here on the over here on a uh, over here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Spitball distance. Children of all ages. Of the porn. It is the big man, the anti riz. Patrick Orianans. Children of the corn dog. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> no, I don't like the lay down ascension. I hate it. I like that. it. I, I like it. That. I like it. Andrew, Get a Tempur Pedic. It's Andrew Oriana. Sponsored by Purple Mattress. What's up, dude? How we doing? That would be a nice mattress sponsorship, low key. We start getting like, uh, what's the mattresses people are slinging nowadays? Like Casper? Uh, yeah. Uh, Tempur Pedic oh. number. Tempur Pedic ain't sponsoring shit. I say we team up with the local mattress seller. <laughs> like, we team up with, like, famous Johnny's, like, all in one used mattress sales. Like, all, that's in <laughs> all in one. All in one. You went all in one. I went used, dude. Yeah, well, it's all in one because it's a, it's a, it's a twin size loft bed, but there's a bottom used option if you want. And there's a hooker that's been killed on it. Yeah. Listen, there is stains. <laughs> but would you, would you're you not going to get a deal like this. Would you sleep on a used? Where do you draw the line at used pieces of furniture? I mean, I used to wear used clothing. That's different. Almost used, you can wash no, no, no. that. Used clothing is fine unless it's like boxers and yeah. socks. That's tough. I'm saying furniture because you can't wash furniture. Thank really. God so Haley's the... lingerie sets in the clear. You didn't mention that. <laughs> what? I what? found it inside of a teddy bear. It's clean. What the fuck is going I'm on? I'm kidding. It was in the jacket pocket of a coat. <laughs> <laughs> like, I did you... find dick pills in a jacket pocket of a coat at a Goodwill once. How did you know they were dick pills? Because they said, uh, I think it was like Cialis, and it was like 35 milligrams. Damn, that's a guy whose night didn't go the way it planned, and he just hung it all up. He said, I don't even need this goddamn jacket no more. She canceled. This is, bad. this is bad luck, bro. Quit I gotta it? get rid of this. Where did you take my coat? He's just like, <laughs> Goodwill, honey. He's just like going to several Goodwills. Just Fuck. like, I'm so soft. Deborah, I can't get hard without that jacket. You don't understand. <laughs> yeah. I need that jacket. Maybe that's his fucking jacket. It was like, like a smoking tweed. jacket. It was like tweed. <laughs> I don't remember if it had elbow patches. Except, but... the, except the elbow patches on a fucking jacket have like rubber grip on them. No, they're cut off like assless jabs. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just raw elbows, baby. <laughs> it's retarded. You never answered my question. Where are you drawing the line? Are you doing a couch? Use couch? Fine. That's tough. Use couch? Depends that. on where it's found. Remember there was that thing on Twitter that was going around where that chick found a blue couch on the New York City streets, looked it up, it was like seven grand, and then cleaned it up. And then like people were just like, yo, I, my cat like shat on that couch and like I got AIDS on it or something like that. It was just like, don't use that couch. And she posted TikTok like cleaning the couch and stuff like that. Use mattress. No. no, depends on where it comes from. Honestly, never? honestly, I cut the, I draw the line at anything like with cushions, because shit soaks yeah, into shit cushions. Soaks in. I had a used couch in my last spot. It's messed Set up. Set your happy fat ass comfortably on that thing. I mean, I wouldn't, but like, imagine sleeping on it, and then like, I have a picture. I have a video, of Andrew sleeping on it. Ew. Wait, moot point. Exactly. Ew. Exactly. And Wait, the I last couch you had was used? The big nice one, yeah. Oh, that was big well, nice. used from who? Did you find it or did a family member give it to did you? you? We like... bought it from a nice house in, like, Surprise. 
We got. They were having like. A, okay, so you didn't just pick it up. No, we got, you paid. For used is used, nigga. Some other nigga farted on it. However you want to cut it. However you want to cut it. Some other well, dude. So did I. He but, cut it. Sure, yeah. On the couch. Yeah. However you want to cut it. Some other guy has watched 14 hours of football on that couch and farted in it for beer farts all day long, and I, then I bought it. That just seems disrespectful. To fart on your own couch watching football? No, to sell it and just be like, yeah. Like, I feel like you have to take it out back and shoot it. Like, it's like <laughs> After a full football season? Yeah. He's like, I can't I'm die. sorry, boy. We're getting recliners. <laughs> You're horrible for my alignment. Yeah, yeah. we're getting the love sack. No, we had tables, like TV stands, drawers. I'm fine with that. Yeah, That's... anything you can, like, wipe down pretty good. Yeah. Like, if you can sand it and take the top layer off and repaint it, then yeah. So you have nothing you use in your apartment right now? It's all new? I mean, just, like, stuff we brought over. And, like, yeah, mostly, like, from, like, our old apartment. So I guess it's used. We've used it. If we gave it to someone else, then, yeah. Yeah. But no bed. No. No. No, that's tough. Are you saying not? No, you got to. That was a whole point of contention. You did buy a new bed. No. Yeah. yeah but and Andrew bed. slugged it up the stairs. Sick. For, Sick. for what absolutely re- this free. Guy, for, Sick. For someone who doesn't Sick. like WWE, he certainly knows how to fucking sell a move. You piece of shit. It's like 16 steps. I'll go. You ca- know how to avoid a move. Go I'll go find something outside that's fifty pounds, and I'll carry it up and down twice just to get you to shut the hell up and be like, "We're even." Actually, I'm up one. No, you owe me five. I pulled. I brought up five packages for you and got your keys. Sure, I'll bring up whatever once it finally fucking gets here. You. I know you bring up whatever. It's every conversation Andrew, with you. Andrew is sleeping like a mercenary spying on someone in a Brazilian favela. He's on an air mattress with, with just an orange mini fan pointed right. Yeah, at Yeah, you him. are living like a door to door Osama bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> like just it's trying not, not to get stupid. caught. He's being like, "Hello." His, his entire night could end by like a misplaced earring. Very true. It's <laughs> <laughs> <just, just> <laughs> like a curly fly lying on the floor. They sniff one end. He was here. He was here. Uh, That's great, dude. And he, I, zero I, dark three hundred plus. Oh. Rude. <laughs> Rude. Zero dark three hundred plus isn't bad. Uh, here, let's get into it. Tristan has a. A Costco something that I've never heard of that he's making me feel like an oh. asshole for not knowing. Yeah, no. I mean, like, hopefully it's funny. Uh, there's uh, these people that I see all the time on Twitter. They're based off TikTok and stuff like that. Uh, they're like this Costco. You can look it up. The Costco family, where it's these, like, kind of just, like, Guido, New Jersey assholes oh, okay. who started going to Costco and reviewing, just being like, it's this juiced dad and he does like this fake laugh like ha 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 I got a double chunk chocolate Costco cookie I like that www.patreon.com slash final stop what can you get there Daniel what a cop out I told you to do this one but you can you could have said I don't know Tristan what could we get I don't know. Of course I know, nigga. You can get you can get a bonus weekly episode of the final stop. Plus, if you're a real one, there's a ten dollar holier than thou follower of Gus Level where you get those juicy, moist ass internal affairs where we break down the fourth wall of the podcast, talk about our personal lives. I've cried, Tristan said slurs, something about Andrew's weight. Tell a friend about the game. No, look no. up cousin. Look up cousin Anthony Provolone. Oh, cousin Anthony. Cousin Anthony, Anthony Provolone. Cousin Anthony, what you eat? I'm eating provolone. Oh my god! I've been doing that all day at work. <laughs> eating provolone? Uh, no, just in my head, just being like, just being like, oh, what is this person doing? I'm like, I'm eating provolone. It's provolone. I was a Costco family growing up. Were you a Costco guy? No, we didn't. We didn't eat that much. I mean, like, we didn't have to feed that many people and shit like that. It's not like I was, like, a growing boy. I was, like... You had four people that lived in your house. That's, like, a decent-sized family. Well, my dad wasn't home for dinner. Like, he would show up, like, sometimes later and stuff. People in... still eating food, though. I don't know about that. No one's eating in your house? You have four, you have four people no my one's mom, eating I food? I mean, my mom always, like, kept the place stocked. Because we would eat a bunch, but, like, we would snack. We're big snackers. We'd, like, make, like, appetizers and stuff. We would have, like, a whole, like, little, like, meats and cheeses out. Like, a lot of the people in, like, my neighborhood wouldn't, like, they were like, did you know how you picky eaters and stuff like that? They would come over to my house and try shit. And I'm like, have you ever had, like, a pitted olive? They're like, no. And I'm like, try this. And like, oh, you know what I had at your house? is good, but it's, like, some fuck shit. And I don't understand who pulled the trigger on it. Hmm. I, guess I guess your family's Trader Joe's family. So then all this stuff. It's a dark chocolate covered watermelon jelly candy. Ew. I know. I know. It's awesome. No, I, went over, I thought it was a fucking dog treat. When I went over to his house, I was like, what the fuck is this thing? He's like, I know. I know. Try this. I was like, what in the nigger is going on in my mouth? It was amazing, dude. It was dude, it's, it's good. They have like uh, they have like suspicious like good stuff at Trader Joe's. I feel like if I went to Trader Joe's, I'd get one thing. Like Literally, I think Trader Joe's is pretty much useless as a company. They're terrible. They All their food is bad. There's no God's water. 
Uh, you can't get name brand stuff. I know they're trying to say that Trader Joe's is a name brand. <laughs> okay, and Nike's designer. Yeah, uh, no, it's disgusting. I mean, like, their frozen food is, like, mid at best. Their pizzas, whoa, frozen whoa, pizzas, whoa, 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 blow whoa. chunks. Mm, okay, yeah, If you so say you that. like the orange chicken, I'm breaking no, the camera. No, they're shrimp boom ba. Fire. I don't think you even know what that is. Shrimp boom ba? Yeah. It's shrimp boom ba. They go, what the fuck it is like that? It, lo- it sounds like you're just trying to learn Jamaican. It's boom ba shrimp. What the fuck? Look up shrimp boom ba. It sounds like if someone, if captions did beatboxing, you were talking <laughs> them out. Like boom ba shrimp. <laughs> it sounds like you're trying to find a song on Spotify, but don't know the words. Shrimp boom ba. <laughs> it's like that episode of, uh, of uh, what's it called? SpongeBob, where... Uh, Mr. Krabs is trying to find the name of that song. He's like, no, it goes beep, boop, bop, boop, beep. Yeah. He's like, no, we only got one that goes beep, boop, boop, bop. They call me shrimpy, boom, boss. <laughs> it's good, bro. Dude, shrimp, you boom, are bop. a shrimp. You're a shrimp and a chicken. I don't I don't like... You know what? I, even though I know you're trying to do that, I, I don't like how much it bothers me. I don't like the way my wires are aligned, but I'm just like, I, it's fucking... Nah. Shrimp boom ba. It's delicious. <laughs> shrimp boom ba. The, the shrimp boom ba sauce is fire as hell. They give you a decent size serving. Yeah, I don't think you know shrimp boom I ba's. just don't think frozen shrimp is that good. Shrimp boom ba. Just frozen scrimps? All right. Well, sorry. Don't, first of all, don't ever say it like you're from South Carolina. Scrimp? Right? That's... <laughs> <laughs> Y'all cook out some scrumps. <laughs> throw, <laughs> yeah, throw a pot bar on now. That may that might be the worst variant of like English in America. People who like Dude, if I spoke only Creole, that'd be so tight. No. Screw patois. I wanna learn Creole. What the fuck is patois? It's like a You just wanna walk around sounding like Gambit every day, dude. That'd be so tight. That's I patois. love Gambit. <laughs> Patois is like a Jamaican, like, bumba clad pussy boy, and like all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that's the sentence you chose. Yeah, bumba clad pussy boy. You could have just said it's like this, but you're like, bumba clad, eat my ass, man. Like yeah, that? yeah, yeah. Like, like the cinnamon guy from Apple Jacks? The cinnamon guy, Apple Jacks, right, yeah. He invented it. <laughs> he, he's the. He was the first one. It was him and Bob Marley. It was meeting a bunch on... of black dudes talking like British before him. Then Applejacks revolutionized. <laughs> yeah, they're the like, whole... oh, sir, pass the marijuana cigarette. We are on the fine <laughs> island of Jamaica. <laughs> What is that fun apple... Is that cinnamon talking? Oh, my goodness. Now I sound like Sebastian the Crab. Is it? This is fun. Is it it racist if me and Taylor go Snoop and Martha for Halloween? Or is it just fun? What do you mean? It's a good time? Not racist. Martha's Vineyard? Good time. What are you talking about? No, Martha Stewart, nigga. What do you mean? What is she doing? Me and Taylor are going to go as Snoop and Martha for Halloween, oh, but we're no. both going to go as the incarcerated versions of them. What about... Uh, are we still going to be doing our couple's costume? Yeah. Dude, I'm stepping out multiple times. What are you talking about? Okay, just making sure. I, I'll i be the side piece, but I just want to remain a piece. What was our couple's when costume again? Huh? What was our couple's costume? Uh, Nacho in the home and... The, oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, I did like that. I, uh, my, my couple's costume I wanted to do with Haley, but she doesn't like it. Uh, have you guys seen the Virtual Insanity Jamiroquai music video? No. Who's, who's Jamiroquai? That's a stupid thing for you to say to me. <laughs> Why? No, because Jamiroquai is really good. It's uh, it's uh, honestly the best song to come out of 1998, the year I was born. Only real players oh, I thought there. it was like a new guy. Jamiroquai is no, old? No, yeah, he's older. It's like an old R&B artist? Yeah, yeah. Singing in the rain guy? Yeah. Baby! You want to go dressed like that? Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be me, and she's going to be the couch. And, uh, <laughs> Dude, you're so. Who the fuck? You're gonna be. You know what you and are. And I told Haley she could be a sexy couch if she really wanted to. She's like, I want to look hot. And I'm like, Nah, you're the couch. That's gonna be a good. You, you just like. You should have told her why do you want to look hot. I'm the only man for you. Well, I know why she wants to look hot. It's because I don't give her any physical attention. But Dude, you just like <laughs> she's the couch. You just like talking to people too much and being mysterious because there's not a person that's gonna look at your Halloween costume and be like. Jameer Kwa and his slutty couch. No, not one, per- not no, one person. No, no, because in the music video, it's like it's supposed to look like he's like the shit is moving around him in the room. So they'll be like, "Who am I?" And then I'll go like this from the music video, and then Haley would just move around behind me in the background. I was thinking it's pretty fun. Um, yeah. I, I I remember a good couple's costume I saw one year was a uh, someone went as a train and the other person went as a panda and it was Panda Express. That's a pun costume. I get those. Those well, are fun. that's niche. Those are for Instagram. I hate when niggas dress up for Instagram, where it's like they're this weird thing that no one's ever seen, but it's one frame from a movie that came out in 1960, and they're like, "I'm that guy. Look," and you're like, F- "Eat my ass. That's crazy." Show up in a fucking show up in a hood and a mask like everyone else, or a variant of Michael Jackson. I'm tired of guessing. You should be Tiger Woods. 
That'd be fun. Well, I got I got to utilize the dreads at some point. True. Who has really cool dreads? Ooh, Predator. You I was just be about to say that, but that's an expensive costume. True. Snoop is cheap. I need weed and loose fitting. How about clothes. this? A spinoff of Predator, a sex Predator, and what you do? It's like a sexy Predator, and when people ask you, say, "I'm a sexual Predator." <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad. What about uh? What about if I went as like a chocolate bar, but I had like a real Pepe Le Pew energy? You can what? go as Whoopi Goldberg, Wiz Khalifa. Or you can get Bob Marley, dude. You can get a you can get a uh, white like a white chocolate bar, and then cut out holes where it shows your body, and you'd be like, "I'm a Hershey's cooking." Twenty seventeen Justin Bieber. Shut the fuck <laughs> that would be up. Tough. That was That'd annoying. I remember when he had dreads. J Cole, the dude from Avatar. The du- <laughs> the dude. <from laughs> the dude. From Jake Sully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Predator would be fun. Any of the double XL class of 2019. Yeah, but then Are I you would thinking have to... that he can pull off Blueface? Is that what you're saying? Because that does not subscribe to my personnel. I could. I think that would be fun. I think you're telling me Daniel's not rocking around walking like that? Jake Ooh, baby, baby. I like that. His tail's coming out the front. <laughs> <laughs> Goes Preacher Lawson for Halloween trying to sell to late show. Try to fucking move. Go as Dave Chappelle. <laughs> just try to just uproot a fucking we- headliner weekend and be like, hi, I'm here. That's no. a pretty funny Halloween show if you just do it and everyone is dressed as famous comedians. Yeah, just be man. like, up next is Jerry Seinfeld. It's really. <laughs> I think they did that. I think because I saw a clip of uh, Mark Norman going as Kramer for a Halloween show. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. yeah and they played out the Laugh Factory scene on stage. I would imagine. Yeah. Jesus Christ, though. It- it was really funny. It's pretty fun. Didn't he bring a black guy up? He brought a black guy up, yes. Yeah, to say the N-word. Speaking of bringing black guys up, you'll like this because you're a nerd. And I think Barack Obama. Fucking Wesley <laughs> Snipes. <laughs> 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 no, uh, did you see that? And can someone explain this to me because I'm not a comic book nerd? They're bringing Robert Downey back as Doom, and I don't know what, as Dr. Doom, and I don't know what the hell. What does that have to do with bringing up a black guy? First of all, you think Robert Downey Jr. isn't invited to a cookout? You I got saw, another thing. I coming. saw the Tropic Thunder. I know what he's done. <laughs> yeah, they did a whole movie where they let him be his real self. What are you? T- what are you talking about, dude? There's this whole funny behind-the-scenes video where it's Robert Downey Jr. like in the bathroom with like well, I'm assuming a PA with his shirt off, bent over in a bathtub, and he's explaining like the movie in like full blackface, just being like, "See, here are the pyramids," and then like going, "Is like pyramid to life, life to money, that's the circle," and like goes into this entire like Yahweh fucking thing, and it was it's like literally so fucking hysterical. He's kind of the man. No, he is the man, and it's supposed to be. Did you see a... what his uh, his schedule, his uh, contract was uh, negotiated to? He gets more than his previous salary. It's guaranteed. He basically for him to come on stage, which is by the way his re- usual salary, eighty million dollars per movie or what? Yeah, no, for this movie. Who knows if there will be anything in the future? Well, no, because he's. I thought he's contracted for two. It's the secret secret invasions, the second one, and the first one is. Doom's. Secret Wars and the uh, other one's Doomsday. Yeah. Yeah, I know he's... Uh, and Do- Fantastic Four, so... He's doing that, too? Yeah, he's in the Fantastic Four film, because they got to introduce him as Doom. Yeah, he's like... He's supposed... Basically, it's... Uh, in his contract, he's, he's private jetted wherever he needs to go. That's in his contract. He gets more than $80 million. The Russo brothers had to direct it. Doomsday. And suck his penis. And suck his pee-pee. And also, he has, he has a trailer encampment... Wherever he goes, encampment. So yeah, he probably got sounds like f- Disney Auschwitz, dude. <laughs> For no, it sounds like a fun place to be. I would pay good money to be in uh, fucking RDJ's encampment. Encampment, dog. What? I don't even do drugs, but that sounds like a fun Camp place Downey to hang Junior, out. Camp Downey Jr., dude. I would love that. Camp Downey Jr. That's not bad. What do you think he has inside there? Because I think he's slowed down a little bit. Also, do you think this revives the brand at all? What do you mean, Robert Downey a- Jr. hasn't been down? He's only been up. He just won an Oscar. No, 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 but for, like, bullshit, like, actual acting movies. I'm talking about, do you think this brings the... He just won an Oscar. For bullshit actual acting movies. I'm talking about, do you think this brings the Marvel brand back? No. You don't even think Robert Downey Jr. can come fucking save the world? I'm excited to see the brave Because already Captain people America. are very mixed reviewed on his appointment as the character. Well, yeah. the reason why... I can understand that, but I think they got something up their sleeves. If you guys have seen the new Deadpool. No. no. Uh, so Thanks they, for the invite. No, I, thought, I went with my girlfriend. I thought they posted I thought it I on Twitter. Girlfriend. I showed Andrew a video where it just said, fucking, here's, 
they said fuck it here's the full deadpool and wolverine video and it shows the first five minutes and it is just it's like crystal clear hd quality and then it just cuts to the um rick roll no it's the never gonna give you rick roll, rick roll. is that what that is yes. yes what's a rick roll what happened to you trying to watch the movie? <laughs> Wait, there's a name for that? Yeah, yeah. It's just a, it's the guy with the red hair? Just yeah, dancing? yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Never Rick gonna Astley, give you up? Yeah. yeah, Rick Astley. It's called a Rick Roll. That's fucking obnoxious, bro. I'm pissed off. I'm more mad no, than you idiots you know about that. you got fooled. <laughs> you made to look like an idiot. No, but you more, got goofed on. The stupidest part was when I kept scrolling through said Rick Roll chickens, all right? the way till the end. And it didn't chickens get... Chickens go for the feed. It didn't get better, but there was credits. There was credits at the end of the Rick Roll. It was fucking obnoxious. Yeah. I'm, just p- c- complete the Rickroll. I was mad for 19 did you different watch? Reasons. Did you watch the Rickroll for 19 minutes expecting it to change? No, I skimmed through it for like, because it was a full like hour and a half long should be movie, but I fucking skimmed through the full <laughs> hour. <laughs> it was two and a half hours you know, long. You know it's so funny? How would I know that? You know what's so funny is like, dude, how are people No Marvel waiting? movie's a tight 90 minutes. <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on. Dude, it was so Some... funny because we were at Comedy Lottery and he was like, dude, can you believe they just let this stay up like this? We're out here on like, this is the internet now, bro. And then just gets Rick rolled. I bet what? he didn't oh, even mention yeah. the Rick roll. He did not. He's just like, no, because the, the movie's part... gay. No, because I, <laughs> I said I was going to go look at it. Later. right. This movie sucks. I saw it, man. I was like, I was convinced. First of all, the internet's dumb. Twitter's stupid. It's all porn. I can't look at it uh, like in, in public anymore. It's all tits, which is fine if I'm here, but fucking out in it's the world. It's your algorithm. I know, but there needs to be some form of like, all right, these if my, change what you usually search on Twitter. No, and just smarter algorithm. Just if, put if, your shit to child sex. No, I don't need that either. If these niggas are fucking, he doesn't want to see that. That's no, if, illegal. If dude. these dudes really have the algorithmic power to be like, oh, you want to see this, this, and that, have the algorithmic power to be like, you want to see this at this time, this, that, this. I want to see NFL highlights at 12 p.m. Ass at 12 a.m. There's a completely different Twitter. Are and you they're saying, blending together? Are you inventing internet cable TV? Basically, tell me that wouldn't be good. Though. You want a Twitter Spice Channel? Yes, K- kind of. There's, those <laughs> those places existed for a reason. Adult <laughs> Swim was a good idea, and I stand by it. I, I, adult Swim—that's completely different. That's what I just pitched. Basically, you're not going to put Adult Swim after Codename Kids Next Door. That's what I'm getting on my Instagram. I'm getting home movies after Codename Kids Next Door. But they did. They just had that commercial where it tells you it's switching to there's Adult no Swim There's no commercial. Now. I'm just in the Yeah, DM. there is. It was regular scheduled programming. No, I'm saying and then on like, Twitter. I'm, there's no commercial in between like, all right, that was a fun football clip. Now here's going to be an OnlyFans promotion. And it's just like, God damn. What I do is I scroll and see the very bottom of it. <laughs> and then if I can, I'm like, that's about And Dude, then I just go, wee and is, scroll right past it. Is this Sophie Rain girl all over your guys' shit also? Look no. her up. Have you seen her before? No, no. you're just Look moaning up, her no, name while you're jerking <clears throat> off Look up Sophie photos. Rain. She's all over the place. I can't scroll anywhere. It's not just me either. Niggas have seen her all around. She's doing like... Did you a take bunch, a survey? She's doing a bunch of songs on NLE Choppin' now. Right. Really? Right. Exactly. I, 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 I looked it up the first thing. Sophie Rain age. So good job for you on that, Daniel. <laughs> I think she's The link is enough. purple. Yeah. <laughs> what this is bitch? it? Yeah, I've seen I've her never, constantly. I've ever. never seen this woman before in my entire life. She also looks thirteen. Yes, officer. I've never seen this woman before <laughs> in my entire life. Hard gulp. <laughs> no, I don't have not. a crawl space. But they do. They get real aggressive with those too. It's like some of the ads that I get will be like, "Dude, can you believe she just turned eighteen last week and her OnlyFans already got leaked?" You're just like, "What the fuck is going on?" I think this was a scheduled attack. <laughs> It's while the sun's still up there asking me these questions. Yeah, no. There, it also like if you go into the comments, it would be like some meme where it is being like, "Oh my God, Trump got shot," and then you scroll down, it's like, "I got back shots." Subscribe to my OnlyFans, <laughs> and it's just like some changes being like, Meh. which by the way, OnlyFans ladies don't know how to have sex. They just put their body there, and then they make no noise. They gotta sell it. It's either no noise or scream as loud as you physically can. I'll take a scream as loud as you physically can all day long. Are you you prefer loud chicks or quiet chicks? Uh, Dead. <laughs> I prefer chick. Yeah. yeah. Just in the room, breathing there, breathing uh, there, woman. Voluntarily there, woman. Alive and beating heart, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> this is my woman. Many are like it, but this one is mine. No, it's funny. We're we're at the we were at the Commodore last night, and Demetrius is going into like the type of woman he's into, and I was just like, he's like, so what's your type? I was like. Girl, just there, just person, you know. I like pussy. Blood. 
Blood I answered veins. like Bubba from Forrest Gump. I was like, I like this woman. I like fried pussy. <laughs> I like breaded pussy. I like Indian chicks and pussy Japanese gumbo. girls. And <laughs> There's about a hundred ways you could prepare a pussy. I'll even take a girl that used to not be a Once girl. we get out of here, Forrest, I'm going to be a pussy, co- <laughs> pussy boat captain. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> Ew. Uh, yeah, you never answered my question. Though. You like so my you own Pussy Gump <laughs> Shrimp Corporation. Well, I'll be the guy sitting <laughs> on the. Do you guys have you not seen Forrest Gump? I uh, not in a long time. Maybe I thought part you're talking about. Where the, the guy is sitting there just being like, "So you invented Bubba Gump Shrimp." He's like, and I'm a donkey's cousin and stuff. It, it was, it's the fat white. Guy. I wish that movie had just a little bit of a of a higher age rating because they could have really, they could have dropped comical amounts of hard R's and made it. In the really second, good. there was supposed to be a second one where he stops 9/11. What? Yeah. No, there's supposed to be a second one where he facilitates unknowingly 9/11. <laughs> yeah. That would have been. That would have been. <laughs> they great. had me flying the plane and I didn't know how to land. <laughs> he's just running and then like an air guy comes up behind him. He's just like. He's like, we don't know how to take down America. And then like, he gives him a t-shirt and he wipes his face with one. It's just like a, two towers and a plane going into it. He's like, thank you. That morning was September 11, 2001. Dude, September Bro. 10, 2001. <laughs> Turns Bro. out he really became somebody. <laughs> Bro, speaking it's of like planes. like the plane has a shit happen sticker on the back of it with the smiley face on it. Student driver on board. Uh, speaking of planes, are you guys pro or anti? Like, If you get on a plane and the pilot knows there's going to be like some bad weather, would you rather him tell you or just find out in real time? Because I had both. On the way here, I'd rather was- just find out because the plane ride's not going to feel any different to me. What do you mean? Like I can't tell the difference between another so thirty minutes on a plane. Seat. Anything? No, can I'm lock, saying between you. like when they say the flight's going to be turbulence. Like when like like when I was leaving uh, Texas to come back here, the pilot was like, "Yeah, so it's going to be pretty rough air for the first thirty minutes getting out of here, and then there's some storming." I over feel like here. that's a guy preparing you to meet his bitch girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just being like, "Listen." It- Sabrina's a lot. <laughs> she comes off as 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 a little bit uh, contrarian. That's just her way of showing love. You're yeah, like, I think your girlfriend's a cunt. You don't she's bring just it trying to be individualistic. Okay, let her be what she wants you to lean be. In and you're like, I gotta go to the bathroom. You're like, seatbelt signs on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> she Taylor, just made dinner. Seatbelt signs on. Ugh, Taylor Swift can't be a personality. I've been telling you this, Carl. Your girl is flawed. <laughs> yeah, Bro, bad she, picker. And bad let me tell picker, you, bad picker. Now we got bad blood. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, wait, wait, what the it's fuck is Taylor that? Taylor Swift song. It's a Kendrick Lamar song as well, sir. It blows across the board. What? Yeah, uh, that Bad Blood song. No, oh, that okay. came out when I was in high school, and uh, the girl that I was dating at the time liked it. Oh and yeah. We, and then course. we broke up, and I immediately got real spiteful and was like, I really hope, since you can't die physically, I hope this song just it dies in some way. Taylor Swift crashes, she crashes out, and then immediately in. you said that wish, and it went platinum. Yeah. <laughs> I know, dude. She's doing so much now. I saw a video of her in like Norway or some like English country, where she did a hundred thousand person stadium. It wasn't. I, I saw. I saw the photo. The you niggas saw. on the hill. Yeah. The people on the hill. Yeah. Let me think. It's Norway because if it's in America, our country scuffed. No, it's whole. in like it's in like it's in Europe. Peru. It's in like Peru. No, oh, it's, it's in Europe. Fine. That's yeah, fine. it's in Europe. Oh, it's in Europe. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think it was like Germany or some shit. Yeah, but they're on like the hill in the background, yeah. and like it was so funny because I saw the Twitter, uh, the Twitter community notes which is basically like the ultimate fact check. It was just like Michael Jackson couldn't even do this and right below it was like Michael Jack it was like Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson did this six times. Yeah, literally it was like 125,000 people, like thousands of people outside and it's like you have 95,000 people. That's cute. <laughs> mm, that's cute. She does it is maybe more impressive what she's doing though because there is like way more diversity in entertainment now. Like that nigga was the show. There was like there was him and like Prince and fucking Metallica and that was about it and now there's like no there's still like there's still competition within that genre no I'm like saying the way that girls it got, pop the way that it got out there there's like she gets so much promotion and oh, push oh yeah, like, well, yeah but also promotions easier than it's ever been like this was a time when like these people came to see the show because of physical disc sales them hearing them like bringing them home taking vinyls home playing them in their homes probably radio a lot too though also radio was like exclusively in your house or like no, in you your house your on car. a small scale or in your car that was it yeah i'm saying the morning commute niggas are driving 40 minutes every I day know, they're but listening it's, to it's, it's shuffle 
It's it's basically your well, sh- it's the entire music world on shuffle. Not really though. It's the I same. I mean, like when you change the stations, you'd be like, oh, I'm on the pop station, but it could be like Throwback Pop Day, and you're like, fuck, I just want to listen. And that's when you get cassettes, and that's another physical owned copy thing that you could put. It's like well, I'm just so- talking the one percent as far as promotion because she has to compete with like a, the internet now. Back in the day, if you were like the fucking Temptations or like Michael or someone like that there was only it's only three. it's only album sales yeah you had to what? like pick up a phone and like be like call the Kia whatever the uh, fucking I don't, I don't know forum? Cracker Barrel Forum at the, the Kia time Forum yeah, I don't know if it was the key. No, I'm saying no, I think those, it was just the forum at that point. All those places had deals with the major with the major record labels. That's what so if like if you were the one percent of the one percent, there's only so many record labels. It's like T V at the time. If you're like uh, Walter Cronkite, there was like three fucking stations, so of course you're gonna be the biggest journalist in the world. I mean Walter Cronkite, like you talked about JFK getting assassinated. And this is we're talking about Michael Jackson. Those are two very different times in entertainment. No, but I'm saying the 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 amount of mediums to get pushed out was like limited compared to today. She's that's why it's more I impressive. Mean, there's way I, more I, I, think I, was impressive. Say, I was about to say it's more impressive. Daniel is correct because there's way too many. There's the saturation of artists is a lot wider than it was back then. If you wanted to be like a big pop artist that was competing at the top, there was like one or two other dudes you had to beat. And that's like across multiple genres. Now it's like there's fucking a thousand. You could like number people from other countries. Like you yeah. could have an interest in like a South Africa. People like Tyler. She came out of goddamn nowhere. But if you knew about her beforehand, she was huge in South Africa and like Britain. That's the. Water. There's a lot of people who blow up other places. It's and crazy. They all come to the mecca of them. Isn't it kind of cool? No, to be it's the like American. It's American bands that are just like, dude, I didn't yeah, even know this. Steel Panther. Are they like super big? In- no, but I want to rep big them. Big in my heart. Yeah, <laughs> they're number one in my heart, bro. Stu Panther is. I was honestly surprised when you guys called me. You're like, bro, have you ever heard of Steel Panther? You know, and I'm like, yeah. I, I got called annoyed. a child for not knowing Steel Panther. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, who told you that you're a child? Because Someone back from Arizona. I yeah. agree with them. Yeah, <laughs> because it's like literally something that I listened to when I was delivering pizzas as a current day high school. Turn out the lights. Where does your neck begin? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, being able to write a fantastic rock song about only fucking fat women and ugly women on the road <laughs> is a goddamn dream of mine. And the fact that it's like four, divo- uh, four dads that definitely tried to be real rock stars, it didn't work. And then they were just like, dude, let's... Let's get the band back together. Because that's the thing. Like, they have genuine rock songs that have nothing to do with, like, comedic jokes. And they're fire. But just so happens to be the best ones are the ones that talk about fucking fat chicks on the road. Steel Panther is... Going, Steel Panther's going to going. Japan and only fucking... Chi- Japanese hookers is another one of their ding, hits. Ding, ding, ding. I have all their songs stuck in my head. <laughs> Dude, it was so funny. We were listening to it on the road trip, and just ding, 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 ding came on. And we're like, this isn't gonna be good. <laughs> this is not gonna be a good one. They have a song yeah. called Asian Hooker. That's great. Honestly, maybe we should make that our next Patreon goal. If we get to a, we'll set it. We should go to a Steel Panther. We should concert. go to a Steel Panther. We should concert. use the Patreon money to go to a Steel Can- a, P- a Steel Panther concert. We'll bring Luca. He'll record it. Let me tell you. We're going to get there, and I promise you, guys, I really promise you, it's going to be two to three times sadder than you think it's going to be. No, no it's not. It's going to be two to three <laughs> times litter than I ever thought no, life could I be. I think it's going to be two to three times sadder. We're going to see a lot of divorced mom tits, but not the type of ones you like. When, like, the it's like you've outgrown the the implant, and now it's sagging. No, but that's what I want to see. That's what they're talking Turn out the lights before you suck my dick. Someone beat you with an ugly stick. I mean, these are hot, these are top shelf lyrics. I want to see the fucking. I want to see the muse of those songs. I, I, that's exactly. It's not like bad bitches walking around, but that's not what we're there for. I want girls with like half their teeth gone and fucking like big boobs with no bras. Then go to the gathering of the juggles. No, because that music no, cause that sucks. sucks. Yeah, uh, that music okay. blows. Oh, you guys are purists. All right. <laughs> oh, my apologies. I didn't know we are going Bach v. v- oh, ma- shit. Beethoven. Shit. No, I see he sucks. Oh, I fucked it. Nice. Stop, I, fucking, I with it. It. Moved, fucking with it. I'll fix it right now. Stop fucking with it. I'll fix it right now. We're, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're operating on very confined spaces in here. We're uh, we're making it work. This is Did podcasting I, in tenement housing. Giant retard. You didn't even touch it. It was you fine. It was even, fine. I know, because I moved it back. Yeah, but no, but I'm thought, a giant retard. Yeah, you are a giant retard. Didn't even have to look. Yeah. Just eyeballed it. I'm good, bro. What is it like to be friends with a nigga who's halfway decent at pretty much most things? Gio's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's nice. I do like him. He's better than decent at a lot of things. It's crazy. Kid's shredded, too. It's, it's insane. Yeah. Makes you feel bad, doesn't it? 
Well, he's like 5'9". But he has a nice body on him, though. He's fucking... Dude, he's absolutely just... He, I'd fuck him. I'd fuck that guy. I don't think that you're not at a point in your life you were two directions away and a baggie of chalk from really, really crossing over to the other side. Dude, take us to the other <laughs> side! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Um, no, nah, I mean, like, if I really want to get spots, then yeah. But... To be, you think that you think that would help? Dude. If, you just, if you just started, just, not even a lot, just, just like giving shirt at a fucking open mic again. D- just like giving hand jobs, just like if you just started like giving like over the pants hand jobs. You think that's helping the cause? Or you think it's you not have, hurting? It's, it's, I was about to say I don't think it hurts hurting. anything. I don't think it really hurts anything. <laughs> you start just rubbing some dude up at the. Computer. I mean, I'm working the stand, aren't I? Yeah. How do you think I got here? I have a Joe's a great show. friend. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick has my number. Yeah, he has my number. Let me tell you, he uses it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Too much. Yeah. Too much. <laughs> do you guys got a donut I could sit on? Tell me that lamp doesn't look like that's what that is. That's a. Uh, it it does like... look like a hernia donut. Yeah, a hemi donut. Yeah, for sure. You sit on those. And you have hernias. Oh, uh, he was right. Hemorrhoid. I knew it started with an H, and it was a butt thing. Oh, uh, oh, here Andrew has this too. What a, what, is, what the fuck does this mean? Olympic sharpshooters look like steampunk. Oh, oh, bro, yes. Yeah. They, have you not seen, bro? Have you not seen that? No. It, so, wait, is that that Asian chick I saw with like glasses yeah, on? This, and she has uh, a gun. This Korean, yeah, Japanese. I'm pretty sure she's from the one who broke the world record. I'm pretty sure that from is why Korea. I said uh, Asian. Nice, nice accent, bro. Look at these people, bro. They look. First like... off, let's not address them as these people. Let's say sharpshooters. No, it's a white guy. I could say these people. All right. Well, I can't see it, so oh, let's not bad. address these people. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa. What the fuck is this? It's a these people. Well, that might. Yeah, that guy's part machine. Wait, what is what? They're just shooting. It's what, like a shotgun. No, it's like it's a uh, sharpshooting. It's like part of uh, the Olympics and shit, but uh, the glasses that they wear is like super crazy, like optical. Like there's like a mechanical iris that you have. It like blocks off one of your eyes because you naturally want to like kind of focus. These these people look like the people that bought like the DLC skins for Cyberpunk. What the fuck? And then what what type of guns do they It does look like they have the battle pass. (laughs) Wait, what type of guns? Battlefront 2042 battle pass, bro. Dude, I hate these battle pass people when I just got a switch and all the luck in my hand. <laughs> what type of guns are they shooting? Uh, I think like twenty twos, but let yeah. me t- they'll shoot you through a fucking mouse hole, dude. <sighs> I really See, hope like I don't have an alternative sports kit. An this alternative... is what it used to look like. This is this is how people used to do it. Now no, you're looking at Rick this Grimes, thing. No, dude. The, yeah. Uh, those are those are those must be different events because I saw are different events. I saw an Asian chick with fucking No, I saw an Asian chick with the and... same thing and it still looked tactical as hell. No, but I'm saying I saw a video, she hit it, she won gold. Yeah, she won gold, broke the world oh, it record. Is, it is Korea. It is South Korea. That's the this yeah, lady. It's South Korea. It's yeah, this lady. Korea. She Dude. broke a world record and, and literally Hate just to be an op. And she looked like John Wick. She literally pulled it up, shot it, broke the world record. I'm the greatest all time. She Did literally it. looked at it. I was, thought she was gonna go. Nah, she literally was just like, I'm cold <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> That's the highest level of Japanese marksmanship or Korean marksmanship. Just, <laughs> just subaku yourself on the yes, Olympic stage. <laughs> I mean, that, it's, it's tight. It's dishonorable to only maim yourself. I think you it's get if you win gold and break a world record, you get to shoot bronze. Like this I'm is the type of chick I could fall in love with. Just a chick that's just hand in pocket, being like, bam. The hand in southern, pocket is kind of cold. That's a southern republic. What if she's holding woman? a vape? That's a woman of your heart. <laughs> Bro, she that's has a, a zin pouch in her yeah. pocket. That's a Southern Republican woman. That lady's just telling you to get off her property. <laughs> You're like ceviche. And she's like so bye bye. <laughs> ceviche. <laughs> that is pretty nice. She has nine one one dialed in her in her tucked in hand pocket. Just a twenty two up she's, your she's nose. Like dialing she's every like, other white guy on the block. We're like they're here now. If yeah. you think small towns like that don't have legit militias, you got you have another thing have fucking like a, coming. Deadpool style barrel that's a smile, wait for the flash and stuff like that. Dude, I saw Deadpool and Wolverine and that was good. Okay, like everyone's it. been saying that except for Assad. Assad's the only person so far I've met that did not a- like Assad the movie. Assad is a is a I, I don't know what he would like. <laughs> I, I honestly think he's such an enigma. 
that like I feel like have you ever seen him eat a slice of pizza? No, but I've seen him do stand up and here at the house, and it's a lot. The I love the kid. Doing to He's the best. He is incredibly hilarious. Man, <clears throat> what is this nigga doing to a pizza? Uh, he doesn't use his hands. What does he do? He just cuts it? No, he uh, he uses the plate and kind of lets gravity guide it to his mouth. Does this fool got a father? I, I don't get that deep with my friends. So no. All right. Yeah. All right. I've never seen anyone eat a pizza like that. All right, here's another question. He, he I have eats legitimate... it like how you would try to feed. I like, have a question. If you're trying to feed, if you're trying to share it with a homeless guy and you don't want yeah. him to touch the pizza, I have a or like a pelican. Do you ever? <laughs> if you're trying to feed it to an animal and you're question. just like, oh, do you oh. ever <laughs> bully him or has seen anyone bully him for that, or do you just let it slide and be like, that's our, that's our guy, that's I have, our man? I have bully. I, I made fun of him a couple times on stage because one time we went to an open mic and he tried to this like Dan Schneider joke and it just wasn't working and I was up after him. I'm like, can we all just put ourselves in a situation where Assad is molesting us? I'm like, can you just imagine how funny it's just being like, I mean, like, you could take your pants off if you really want to. I mean, like, it doesn't have to be like that or like, it could be. Or like, well, like, it, cause, like, like, I was just wondering, like, like maybe just... potentially, like, if you could possibly, like, maybe, like, remove your shoes and, I mean, I lock the door, but, like, that's cool if you don't want me to. <laughs> 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 you know, like, like, pause, pause, but play. Like, I that really... Nigga, like, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga is physically if Brain Rot was a person. No, I, he's not. No, physically dude, he's if Brain not, Rot was a best. person. I, I, I think him. I spoke to him for about... That fool didn't complete a sentence, not one time, I don't think. It's just a bunch of commas and parentheses and, like, dashes on to the next I did. I, it was an odd night at the Rowie show when I introduced you to most of the people. Where I'm just like, this is Clay. And I'm just like, he's just doing a bit at you for 45 seconds. You didn't tell me that shit was alt, nigga. It was... It was an alt oh, thing. But I know someone that was real alpha on that fucking show. Oh. Shout out Lil Pete, dude. Shout Lil out Pete Lil Pete. De face guy? <laughs> Can we make that our Corey Feldman? <laughs> That's our Corey Feldman. Dude, no. Lil Pete's our Tom concept. Myers, dude. Lil Pete's Tom Myers. Bro. Wait, what is he? Uh, I have the best. Be no, I, because I he seems like a nice fella. Spry chap. It's the, he's a gimmick. He's a gimmick who doesn't know he's a gimmick, which is the gimmick. It's the funniest fucking thing in the world. Am I wrong? I just burped in my mouth. No, but it, it Get was... Get your shit together, it sir. Was, it was so funny because we were talking to an audience member like after the show. And he was like... like What he was saying was kind of funny, but like it wasn't like that funny. Like It was funny enough like to get like a chuckle. But then we heard every everybody in the side like standing up screaming and clapping for every one of his punchlines and it kind of just infected the room like everyone just started having a way better time and it just ended up being like a solid ass fucking set you know what it yeah. is though you may have never played on a team but there's always one guy on a team who he's not a starter by any he's means he's the rudy he was the rudy yeah. of the lineup yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he came he got, in he got carried off into the green room <laughs> took his shirt off and took a picture with Rowie. he it got was. gumped he it, got gumped it was awesome damn boy got gumped he just kept running <laughs> and, he did, and he ran the light by a he ran the light by like 10 to 12 minutes Physically Every, dude didn't literally give a what fuck. a disease of the night i was ready honestly i love them so much the both of them chris and Assad. But boy, oh boy, were they hitting bedrock with the hole that they were digging that I was supposed to fucking dig the room out of being the second act. Dude, and then was... I went up, did like, okay, and then halfway through a new bit, the waitress, Bella, love her to death, very nice woman, dropped a full thing of water. <laughs> and literally like in a, like a solid downbeat where I'm just like, this happened. She has to drop the water. No Boom. one man should have Clink. all that power. And I don't know what to do, and I just go, Yahtzee! <laughs> and then just keep on going with my joke. And then it just, I just did not have a great time. Then I had to wake up early for work, so I was just... It Dude, was, it was so it was funny. Cause plus. It was funny, because like after Lil Pete's set, Joe walked up to me. He's like, hey, man, that was really fun. That was a good set. And he's like, yes. He was like, sorry, I was ran the light. And Joe's like, Dude, you're crushing. It's fine. And then he like took that confidence and started like big dicking around the he was like swinging hammer around the fucking club it's it awesome. he's the only person that i've ever seen match my confidence and then 
soar past it. I mean, like, not even, like, if I think I'm here, that nigga's on the ceiling and, like, walks comfortably. And I'm so jealous. Bro, it's so funny. He he was walking around. I think he could around. dunk on you. He, I think so, too. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised. And he'd bring out a trampoline and think it's not cheating at all. And he'd be like, that's Lil Pete. I don't give a fuck. These I'm are my like, shoes. Right. He'll 360 <laughs> dunk on you, drop the toupee, pick it up, put it through his legs, put it back on, and then dunk on you. Drop well, the toupee on top of the key of soul that he's dunking <laughs> over Dunking you. over from the three-point line. From the three-point line. You're he sitting could, there in the Kia Soul. Lil Peek are really wild hogs someone. You know, seen a wild hogs are about to fight. It's like a little Asian dude and the big biker guy. And they're like, I'll, they're like, I'll take him. And then the dude takes his shirt off and he's fucking shredded. Like, switch back, switch back. Dude, there's a scene. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this movie. I think it's I... like an old movie that's like dubbed into English. It's a, it's called Kung Fu Hustle. And it's a fantastic movie. They were trying to get niggas movie. from the jump, bro. That's <laughs> It's crazy. a fantastic fucking movie. But there's a guy who's like, he's like fighting. Like, he has to like fight or else he go, like dies. And he's like choosing people. It's a comedy movie. He's like chooses like the old guy. The old guy stands up and he's like fucking ripped as hell. He, oh, like, I, he chooses yeah, another guy. Clip, yeah. He stands up. He's eight feet tall. And then he chooses. He's like, fuck it. I'll fight the fucking kid. The kid takes his shirt off. And he's fucking ripped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a new movie coming out called The Platform 2. Have you watched the first one? Is that the, the one where one. it's like descending up and down? And like there's like a like, higher There's key. food and then like yeah. goes. I like that movie. The bottom yeah. floor? Supermarket. A lot of people don't ride the thing all the way to the end. <laughs> <laughs> like they have luxury suites down Dude, there. Dude, riding hilton. down at the bottom is like going to East Rockaway. You don't want to be on that stop. But you uh, get to the bottom, it's like scraps of dead people? I don't know. I forgot what happened. There's like dead people and then there's like a fine dining like a fine dining at, at the, the bottom very, bottom, at, yeah. At the bottom? Yeah, it was like a table of like nice food and you were just like able to live there. I think. But you couldn't go up? Yeah, I don't remember how it moved. I know there was like something where it's like if you went all the way down to the bottom, it was all like All I nice. know is they were talking Mexican. I think they were French. <laughs> no, they're Spanish. Oh, they're Spanish? Yeah, I thought it was French. I thought no. it was a French movie. It's it not an American really. movie? No. Second and one? you watched it? And you watched it? Uh, Fucking commie. Well, I didn't Communist. watch it. Communist. Communist. I, saw the clip, I saw the clip for the second one on my daily shit on the, while I'm taking a shit Facebook condensed scroll. You know, you get all those like condensed Facebook. I live on that. Dude, you're such a boomer. Why? You go on Facebook, you yeah. clown. Facebook has good stuff. I love it how you're sitting here just talking about how Twitter is like it can't be porn or it's all porn and asses. Who are you hiding it from? You have no job. You have no job. You have, you have no, no job. Life. You have no purpose. First of all, oh, on the job front. But yeah. what you do I have, have two is a way out. Week. I'll have a job here pretty soon. Jump. Huh? What? <laughs> you, said you have a way out. <laughs> Change the lock. She can't find you. Huh? Here. Just jump. Just, just jump. 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 So many bridges. Jump. No, that would be. Oh, so that's what, what are you gonna? Ta- yeah. When are you gonna tell Taylor that the comedy lottery money is going to an Xbox to buy college football twenty five? Did I tell you guys? I made a real decision about that. Did I tell you guys? Um, I told you about me being an asshole to my buddy Chris, right? Me and Hayden while we smoked weed. No. Oh, dude. It's kind of in the vein of just whispering stuff because his mom was schizophrenic. And so he was like, we shouldn't. He's like, I shouldn't smoke weed. But it was like me and Hayden. We're all hanging out. And he's like, I shouldn't smoke weed because like it like it like affects schizophrenia. And we're just like, no, nah, dude, just smoke. Come on. It's fine. He's like, okay. And like we peer pressure him. And then he smokes weed with us. He's like, how's the weed hitting? Kill your parents. <laughs> it's like the entire time. You guys are fucking and assholes, bro. It, the Dude. thing is, it would be like, we would just be like, Chris, what are you thinking about the eco? Kill your parents, kill yourself. And then, like, you'd be like, Dude, stop it. We're like, We have no idea what you're talking about. Dude, it's so funny because. Uh, have sex with your dad, kill yourself. <laughs> uh, uh, one time I was uh, with uh, Aldo, Matt, and Mason. They were smoking weed, and Mason doesn't smoke weed. And so <laughs> Matt and Aldo were just <laughs> taking rips. And since Mason can't run away, they were just following him around, just blowing the smoke uh, into yeah. his face, trying like to get dog. him high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like how you would uh, get a dog high? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty funny thing to do, especially because he can't run away. Yeah, so he's just like waddling, trying to get away. <laughs> and Aldo's just circling me <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> yeah. He's putting his shirt over his face. It's so funny. There's a reason I only talk to like you two niggas and, and Brody, because that shit would infuriate the <laughs> hell out of me. I'd be sitting on the couch watching that happen and not knowing who to trip. It'd just be like <laughs> someone's catching a Dude, hard leg. You're somewhere. so lucky. You're so lucky that we weren't closer friends when you had the boot on, because then I would just like 
I, I would take your beer and just walk like nine steps away. And Are you just saying start... my leg was fucked up? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I would have beat you with a. I would have beat you with a fucking crutch. I would have yeah. fucked you up. With yeah, a you're lucky I didn't know you. Just because I would have just been like, I'll be like, oh, what's over there? And I would take your beer and just walk seven steps away and just come be like, whoa, 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 be like, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> that was a fucking time. God damn, that'd have been a real issue. And then oh. Scott Waits just we put Scott Waite in your way trying to run pe- bits past you. Scott here. <laughs> <laughs> Scott just go. Palm him by the head. Just like, Scott move. Scott he was talking. He wants to book your own DBG in Scott. <laughs> <laughs> go 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 go. That was a fucking horrible time in my life. It was like six months probably combined. The walking was like not easy. Yeah, dude. It's fucking limping around everywhere, so asking funny. people for help, and I couldn't even wipe up. So I couldn't even use the like, oh poor pity me. Shouldn't you throw some pussadillo this way? Because my knee's broke. It's better than morphine. I just had to raw dog it and sit there and be like, ah, my fucking, <laughs> ah, my knee hurt. My knee. <laughs> Open my people don't care about my feelings. Yeah, at least you could drive, though. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> they told me I shouldn't. I mean, yeah, but it was on the opposite foot. So. No, it was on my right one. It was on that my r- one? Yeah, it was on my right leg. So there were oh, times when, like they would tell me that, like. Why? What is that scar on the lower half of your leg this? right there no are, on the side this yeah this is from a screen door <laughs> okay so this is i thought it was like in i thought that's where they first got in <laughs> no because this is a funny story so this is right when my uh my dad that's Waylon like a Mo- really deep scar no so let me exp- let me explain this to you so this is when we were living in our first house before they started making a little bit of money and there was a screen door on the bottom but like the smooth like siding part of the door had been like ripped off so it was literally like jagged fucking spikes and this is when my dad had just moved in with my mom and there, he he was still trying. Bio? No, no, no. Stepdad technically way. Okay. I think he was still trying to like make the switch from where I was calling Lincoln him. Lincoln Bio? Right. To where I was calling him fucking Wayland to you dad. Wish. And so we're carrying in groceries that we, my mom had sent him to the store because she was out doing something. He was trying to stay good with her and show that he could like take care of a kid. And my fucking ankle caught on the door and ripped all the way. Dude, like my whole foot was red with blood and he's panicking because he's like I, mom's going to kill me. This is it. There, there goes that. There goes the, I fucking fucked up my one opportunity. Time to go back to Hooters and get another one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no, I gotta get another God bowling damn. alley bar bimbo. Yeah. He's on the phone with his friend. The fucking black kid cut himself. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm I think gonna... he's working against me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was where we bonded because I looked at it, realized that he would be fucked if I started crying and having a problem. So I was just like, and I heard it was bad. I was like, there's Band-Aids in the kitchen. There's Band-Aids in the kitchen. Go I get want them. McDonald's for dinner. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I want nothing but ice cream now. <laughs> I want McDonald's for dinner. <laughs> You're not allowed to fuck my mom per month. Go get the Band-Aids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Basically, and then he, he that comes was... in and you're just like stitching yourself together with a thread from your teddy bear. Well, the, his version of that was he let me play his Xbox. He let me play Halo on his Xbox. Oh, that's so <laughs> worth it. That's Dude, so worth my it. My shit was fucked up and all wrapped and he put a sock over it. So you could like and then so you hear wrapped. that first Oh, 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 dude! I it's was, like it's fine. It's so fine, dude. It's, it's so funny, you do, dude. I was talking to Daniel because uh, me, Aldo, and Roy were walk, uh, and uh, Richie were walking from uh, Eastville one night, and I don't know how we got onto it. But we just started doing like the Robin Williams. Oh, 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 and then we were like, "How funny would it be if the Halo theme song was just the Robin Williams?" <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that at all. Like the last level of Halo oh, 3. Oh, but... <laughs> That's, he yeah. could do that for all the Game of Thrones theme song. Game of fucking Thrones, Robert. fucking Anakin versus Obi. They just sound like a nigga who's trying not to come. <laughs> Stop. You're throwing it back. Stop. Stop. So, so, heal. Heal. Heal, bitch. Heal. Oh, that's that shit good. Don't make me get the spray bottle. It sounds like you're in the intermission of beatboxing. You're like, you're like, oh. <laughs> Intermission of beatboxing is retarded. Yeah, it's the breakdown. Was, oh, oh, shit. Full of sense is pretty nuts. Oh, uh, fuck, I'm coming. Well, well. <laughs> oh, don't do a bit, dude. <laughs> you did a beatboxing yeah, bit? I was about to say, no. I don't know what bit that is. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's another comics bit that's oh. just so bad. <laughs> it's it's so so bad. I, I was about, I have no, I have no idea who that no, is. No, because I hate when comics have all, all like 
secondary skills that they just jam into stage for no reason. It's not like, a skill that this person has. No, oh, no, I'm saying not that person. But like, if a comic can sing and for whatever reason they're like, and then Mariah Carey was all, and you're like, stop, you just want to sing. Go to a go to a singing thing. There's no reason for you to sing right now. If you oh really? There's on... no reason to sing on stage at a comedy show. Hey guys, guys, hey guys. We could all meet Josh Adam Myers one day. <laughs> he lives here. I let's wasn't refrain. even thinking. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was thinking of someone else. Let, yeah, yeah let's so refrain. Ge- also, I think someone's paying you a decent amount of money to do bullshit work pretty here soon. I so. don't like the way that you framed any of that. It, two, one out of three of those things was correct. Two. I have to wake up at five a.m. to make the money that you're making in one night with a hair. <laughs> It is thirty minutes of comedy, though. That dude, he came across my uh, YouTube, uh, my YouTube algorithm. The and shorts, let me yeah. tell you, I watched him do crowd work, and why? <laughs> Look, why? Okay, in here's what we're not going to. Why at all? Here's what we're not going to do on this podcast. All right, what? we're not going to fuck up Daddy's money. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shoot daddy's money in the eyes. We're not going to fuck up daddy's I'll blow daddy's floor. money's brains out. I'll cut his A string and watch him flop. It's a... Uh, the only G string he can find is hey, in his goddamn Say guitar. what you will. Say what you will. 3,200 tickets in Australia, dog. 1,600 it's a person prison theater. colony. All right. So, that's why I said say what you will because I knew you were going to say something. <laughs> yeah. Half of them were like wild dogs. <laughs> Who like soft acoustic riffs. And are afraid of birds. They're chickens over there. It's a country of chickens. chickens. Oh, so... what? You're going to open for Maroon Type 5? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I think I fucking... Yeah. That was good. That rift, was good. rift Punk? I would do just fucking fine. No, Maroon Type 5 was so good. I don't know where to go from Maroon Type 5. How do you fucking... <laughs> yeah. Maroon Type 5. Yeah, I was like, what? No, but it's... Instead of yellow, it's green, and it's about his paychecks. It was all green. But it's reached... I looked at TikTok. I looked at my creator fund. <laughs> it was all green. <laughs> not on TikTok. Absolutely not. That's such a hard algorithm to crack. I... He cracked it. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. You cracked it once and I got said banned. He did. Oh, pff, that's what I'm saying, bro. Forty-five million, forty-five million views in a month. And you're just like, I don't, I don't know. It's a maybe, small country. That's a small island. Maybe country. we need to have. A, maybe we should just start doing like. I don't want to use the G word, but like maybe we start putting fucking auto tune on something or gay shit. I was about to say that's the only G word I could think of. It's There's really... a nicer one that has an I after the G, but let's not fucking look into it too hard. Gimmick, you idiots! Look, no. there's, we need to find a nice little. I fucking... say, I'm like, that's not how you spell the N word at all. <laughs> <laughs> the way you look down at the ground, you're like, I don't think that's it's not an N anywhere. I'm not. I'm not. What a, time are we at? Time uh, we're good to go. Right. I'm not a wheel of fortune. Well, hold on guy. here. We didn't read it last time, and I promised we would. Carl changed his name, so let's pull up the Patreon. Yeah, he he messaged a Patreon account, and we got a new a uh, couple new homies. I don't know since last time, but. Uh, we do a Patreon, www.patreon.com slash final stop, where we do a bonus episode weekly, full hour. Uh, it literally costs one dollar. It's four quarters a Shout month. Shout out, Luca. What's up, Luca? How you doing, baby? I mm-hmm. know Haley will never listen to this. I hate these texts. Don't ever send me these. She says, I wonder how much longer my nipple will continue to ooze pus. Yeah, I wouldn't have wanted Ew, that for my lady dude. either. I wouldn't have wanted Ew. that. I wouldn't even have wanted you to tell me that. I don't know why you... That's like you smelled something bad and you go, here, smell this. Does this smell bad? I don't know why you just did that to us. That's insane. Ew, dude. No. Anyway, join the Patreon for more crispy facts like that. I don't know why you let that loose in the public, but... uh yeah, there's also an internal affairs level where we do uh, like a 30 to 45 minute deep dive. Shit gets real intense in here. It's honestly the most fun thing that we probably do. And I that's said, $10. why would you say those words to me? That's so nasty. I'm not reading Carl's. I don't want to say. I refuse to read well, Carl's. Spin it. I'll what read does it Carl's. Say? But what yeah, we also say? encourage uh, read a kooky or make your uh, your Patreon name kooky. Change it consistently and we read it. No, I like read a kooky. I've been to read a kooky, New Mexico. Oh. It depends on how you read this. This is a tone thing. This is a tone yeah, thing. So, honestly, Carl, very nice of him. Said his name is Carl. Rest in peace, Daniel Bright, on a motorcycle, Gold Thor. Or, or it could be a lot worse, and I don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> 
Yeah, nice name change, Carl. We appreciate your way to yeah, continue. Yeah, you didn't to... have to include the a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I knew what tone it was. In. That's why I didn't want to read it. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have to include that. Uh, but like always, tell a friend about the cast. We'll see you guys later. Also, wait, I... can I change my Patreon name to Carl Dead of No Pussy and Lupus <laughs> Gold, you know, Bowling? Lou Pussy, dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, drop a drop a comment if you want if you're watching this far if there's a New York comic that you think would be fun for us to talk to give us some hints talk to you guys later Tell be realistic yeah be realistic <laughs> don't say like Seinfeld like, we can't reach <laughs> alright